Uh, today, the minister of the word whom the Lord has sent to bring the message to us is none other than Minister Jotham. I'm born again. My family is fine. The Lord has kept us well. Uh, it's a very good moment for us that we may share the word of God together shortly. And I believe at the end of it, told the Lord will have done to us as he intended. So to tend to see an end of the kwa uh, it happens to be one of my interests, I mean, uh, favorite subjects to talk about and even to learn and to study. It is about prayer. And so I am to understand that all of us to may I could now to make with Kia Ujube Kuhusu prayers. And um, so I don't want to, uh, to ignore, to assume that Kunamtu Hajai Kuskia Neno Kuhusu Maombi. Either to, according to uh, some information that God has been feeding me about prayer, because prayer, as we are going to see, it was meant to be a fellowship time. Prayers were meant to be a fellowship time. Uh, even if Tuneza Sema peer prayers was meant to be a time where you make, we make our needs known to God, Jakuja kuelewa maybe as we go about, sana sana, the priority of prayer as God designed it to be was not to put the chance ya kumwambia kile tunahitaji ama kumwambia shida zetu. However much that is so much inclusive, but the most important part of prayer is fellowship. And Jesus wakati ya likuja, he demonstrated that through his life as he fellowshiped with the Father. And so I'm going to touch on those two subjects about fellowship and actually now the art of asking. Because it is also provided for in the scriptures. So we're going to study and to think about prayer. In the time to Natumia Kuomba, because all of us, I want to imagine that all of us do pray. What percentage of time do you do you spend in fellowshipping with the Father more than asking or telling him about your troubles and sufferings? And at the end of the subject, maybe some of us will have to readjust on that proportion. Because as I have said, uh, Jesus emphasized that prayers were meant for fellowship first even before we speak to God about our needs. Na kwa hivyo, pole pole tu, pole pole, within the shortest time possible, by God's grace, I believe I'll have demonstrated that through the scripture. And tutaona ni kwa nini basi watu wengi, kwa sababu, mtakubaliana na mimi, kwa sababu, I have been here so for so long. And I thought that wakati wa kuomba, it is now the best time for me to spend up, up to the maximum time, speaking to God about my needs. And amazingly, hata uziandike needs zako mahali kwa kitabu, uanze kusoma. Hakuna mtu yanaiza mariza wana wakiabia mugu needs zake. I don't imagine there are such many needs one may have. And so we can ask ourselves, what do we spend time doing in prayer? Uh, so the Ile kipande ya kuwabia mungu about our needs actually should be the least of them all. Kwa sababu gani tutaona kwenye scripture. So, we are going to study about um, prayer in a certain dimension, but very plainly and simply. And I believe that God will help us to go about. So, let us start by reading our scripture in the book of Matthew chapter 6 and verse um, Verse 6, verse 5. Verse 5. Matthew chapter 6, verse 5. Now, Jimmy, ni I understand now you have been into Swahili more. So let us go together. The scripture says, eh? The Bible says that when you pray, go into your room, 
close the door and pray to your father who is unseen. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. I, uh, I don't know whether Nchugaji you may be having the, the RSV or the King James Version or let me just read. Yeah, in a sema, sababu kuna there is a word that we want to emphasize on there. Matthew chapter 6, verse 6. Let's start in verse 5, sorry. Oh, 6. Let's read 6 because I don't want to lose focus. But when you pray, enter into the closet. And uh, enter into your closet. And when you have shut your door, pray to thy father which is in secret. And thy father which sees in secret shall reward you openly. I would want all of us to capture the word secret. Secret. So, now, let me talk a little bit about the word secret. As we talk about prayer, kuna mahali, kuna kitu wabacho we are going to understand. Tumesongea ni kuhusu fellowship. Kwa mpano, if Someone was sent to deliver something to some uh, somewhere. Ata barua ile tunapeleka kwenye poster. We take the letter, and it is not necessarily we the pale upatane na mtu. Kusababu ule unapelekea haupati. But you have some hope kwamba ile barua, siku fulani ama wakati fulani, itamfikia. You have some hope kwamba ile barua nime deliver pale, ama nime peana, itafika. So, you just go with your key, unafungua hile poster, hii naerezea kina maina na jua, sijui kama unajua poster vile inaenda, you have come, siku za, za SMS na Mpesa. So, unaenda kwa post office, unafungua saduku, arafu unaweka. Na hata haulizi soja swali, na soja hakulizi swali. Muradi tu fungua yako imefungua, unaweka pale. Iyo ni sehemu moja ya prayer. Kwa sababu, ume, is it any needs zako? We, can, we go to our, with our needs, we take them wherever we think that we have, maybe in prayer, we tell God, this is one, two, three, I need. Iyo ni ile system ya poster. Lakini kuna system ingine. Abayo, for you to be ministered, to, for you to deliver whatever you want to deliver, you must get to see that person face to face. Kwa mfano vidu unambiwa, anataka ukuje kwa ofisi unione. Iyo ni different na, you just come with your seeds and drop them, kwa receptionist, nitachukua. And prayer has to be addressed in that perspective. See how two kweda could drop our needs. First of all, as Jesus intended it to be, ni kupele, ni kuenda in person. And maybe at the end of the service, tutakuja kuona so many times, even myself, I have ever drafted some needs and I dropped them. And ni vizuri tu kwa sababu ilifika. Kama nilieka kwa sadugu ili inafaa, bas, itafikia mwenyewe. Lakini, at the end of it all, I lost on the major part of prayer. Because the major part of prayer is fellowship. So, you come to my house, or I come to your house or office, and I meet you there. And before I submit whatever I was submitting, you know, we just talk. You know, tunaongea, how have you been? I've been fine, or this has been happening. That is the part of fellowship. Now, this is the question. Do you know why many people so much desire? Ama wanapenda hili ya kweda kudrop prayer needs? Ni kwa sababu, kuenda mahali mungu ako, we don't exactly know where he is. We don't know where he is. And do you know why? Check on that scripture. The Bible says, Jesus is saying, by the way, before I, before the disoma, uh, if of late, I thought, Jesus only used the word secret once. Kusema, that the father who sees in secret will reward you openly. I thought, I ever thought, hiyo scripture ni mai isoma, ni mai isoma, but the two secrets has never captured my mind, have never captured my mind. But check on your scriptures very well. The word secret has been used twice. Has been used twice. And the first one is my very great priority today. Kwa nini Yesu anatuambia vizuri baba yenu mule, yule mtu mnatafuta he is in secret ako mahali panaitwa secret na kule kwa secret ni yeye tu anaona I want to tell somebody today 
the secret place is not the spirit world. There's a difference between the spirit world and secret place. Our father dwells in secret place. Yes, he is in the spirit. Lakini kwa sababu spirit world, ni kama tu hivi uko tuko. Kuna estate hii, kuna estate nyingine. The spirit world also, ikona, kuna, kuna sehemu topout, kuna mahali shetani huka, shetani pia ni spirit being, kuna mahali mapepo zinaka, huko ni spirit place also. Spiritually, is just like our world, whereby our world tumekusanyika. Sisi tuko kwenye sehemu moja, wale wahalifu pia wako kwenye sehemu hii. In the spirit world also, diyo kuna, kuna world kama hii. So you can see an angel there, in the spirit world, alafu ukiangalia pala hiyo naona pepo. Our God has not lived in the spirit world as the ultimate <laughs> position. The Bible says his place is called secret. Secret is not in the spirit. It is beyond. Yes, our God is a spirit. He lives in the spirit. Fine. But pamoja na hiyo, ni vibaya sana kusema ama kujumulisha every spirit being inakaa kwenye spirit world. So hapa tumejumulisha mungu, mapepo, shetani, aa, mungu yetu akona sehemu yake tofauti. Na inaitua secret. That is what Jesus is saying. That your father who is in secret. Haya, what is a secret? I want to to get us to the, the general meaning of the word secret. The word secret, it's a place of knowledge that is hidden and intended to be kept hidden. A secret is, piece, is a piece, sorry, it's a piece of knowledge that is hidden and intended to be kept hidden. That is where our God dwells. Because if to gezema mungu tuwa naka in the spirit liams, peke yake, ni kumanisha shetani pia ana access mungu na maboyote ya mungu hili anafanya. Which is not true. Our God is in secret. Mahali ya bapo, even the devil himself does not access God or his information the way he wants. Let me get you also to the book of Psalm 31 verse 20. Let me see. Siju kama nilikuwa ni mesha fanya share hiyo. But uh, Psalm 31, 20, Nikwanyesha about the secret place of God. Psalm 31, verse 20. In a sema, Psalm 31, verse 20. Good. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the pride of man. In the secret of thy presence, in the pride of man, you shall keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Another confirmation that the place where God dwells is, called, is somewhere secretive. It is somewhere that it is there kuna upugufu and knowledge yet to kujua. Even live around ours, even devils, knowledge, if hajuangi. See, that is a place where he does not know uh, where God dwells, not unless God allows you to know where he is. Who are to dream? Psalm 81 verse 7, wacha nisome iyo tena. Nikimalizia kusoma, Psalm 81 verse 7. Psalm 81 verse 7. Psalm 81 verse 7, and I read. Thou called in trouble, and I delivered you. I answered you in the secret place of thunder. In the secret place. Now, let me allow me to drive my point, Kidogo, before I go on. The reason why Jesus is talking, telling to us, or talking to us about our Father, and at easy to see you are confused. And Going back to Matthew chapter 6, Mahali Tulikua, that our Father which is in secret, our Father which is in secret, Mungu yetu anakanga Mahali secret, amejificha knowledge yako, na amejificha knowledge ya shetani. Matthew 6 verse 6. 
na Mungu anataka kubaki na authority ya ku control things in the spirit world and in the physical world that's why he dwells in the secret place otherwise agekuwa anakaa tu in the spirit realm peke yake shetani agekuwa ame access mipango yake na agekuwa anaiharibu na and then but as we are going to see even to kiangalia spiritual warfare to kiangalia about the secret place of god god has hidden or um, he has hid himself in a secret place na pia mipango yake ameificha in a secret place now there is a scripture in the book of the Thessalonians I'll, 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 maybe I'll bring it out as we go along ili inasema ama inatudhibitishia na kutufunza that we are three beings i mean we are a being with three parts i hope most of us already know that we have the body we have the soul soul ni mahali sasa mind iko na feelings na emotions then we have the spirit na the bible inatuambia that spirit man in the second corinthians chapter 5 17 he has been made new completely new live alone being new the bible says it has been made holy niko nasoma romans inasema vile mungu alitu predestine alikuwa ametuona kitambo na akapanga vile tutakuwa holy god prepared us to be holy and my question is did he achieve that to to bear holy children now which part of you is holy which part of you is completely perfect devoid of any imperfection which part of you it is your spirit your spirit which is born of god it is completely holy completely perfect lacking nothing the bible says right now we are like jesus now live around see it tutakuwa ni vile tu tukifichuliwa kile kiko ndani yetu itaonekana kinakaa Yesu so as of now we look like jesus our spirit beings is holy is perfect and even as i was listening to the sermon earlier last sunday na nimeirudia kusoma as the pastor was telling us about the burdens that we should not carry ni kwa sababu most of us did not understand what happened when we got saved that we received a brand new spirit ni kama tu room frani utengeneze jenga nyumba yako utengeneze room frani ambayo utaweka mlango hivi kwamba haitaifunguliwa and the bible says we were sealed with the holy spirit so hiyo pati yetu inaitwa spirit na imepewa holiness imepewa righteousness imepewa perfection it looks like jesus there kwa mlango hiyo the holy spirit is the one there he has sealed us na Biblia inasema he has sealed us he has redeemed redeemed us eternally so that is the part it is not involved anywhere wakati mtu anafanya dhambi in actual fact John anatuambia i don't know whether you, you, some of us remember that John anatuambia he who is born of god cannot sin that is the part of you that cannot sin it was born and actually it is born in god it looks like god it possesses the character and the nature of god It, that part cannot sin even when the devil is fighting you hata akupiga na jia gani even when he kills the body mtu anakufa the devil cannot access that spirit because it is sealed with the holy spirit now you come out of that room you get to the soul mahali mawazo iko hapo ndio feelings iko kuna kitu nataka ku drive hiyo room nyingine ndio kuna mind kuna feelings alafu sasa kuna body saa hii nikikuuliza how you access your body of course it is through the five senses you touch you, you smell you can touch yourself na uniambie i'm cold or i'm hot vile najisikia niko na fever you can touch yourself tena nikikuuliza about your soul nikuulize how is your soul how do you feel utaniambia mm, i don't know how about these moods nasikia na furaha nasikia sina furaha you can tell me about your soul But if I may ask you about this that place in it the spirit part of you nikuulize do you feel whether you have faith how much of the faith do you feel you have unasikia kama uko na anointing ama hauna unasikia kama uko na grace ama hauna you cannot tell why you cannot access that part with your feelings and please get me kwa sababu hapo ndio na sasa nataka kuja you cannot access your spirit well spirit man 
with your feelings or your mind. Your mind has a juangi, what happens there? Your feelings cannot access that place. They don't know what is happening. So, say you know, you Unasikia kama kuna maraika na kugad ama haku. My mind cannot comprehend. Ama ni kurize. Ili anointing uliobewa. Sa hii mebaki kiasi gani. Imi ogezeka ama iko chacha. Siwezi jua. Why? My mind and my feelings cannot sense what happens in the spirit man. But the spirit man imekwabia he's perfect. Uko di anointing inaka. Uko di your faith inaka. Uko di your grace inaka. Vitu hizo zote za tumebalikiwa nazo. I was leading... Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. Let me read that scripture for, for that basis. Uh, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. Nisome haraka. Uh, inasema aje. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. Inasema hivi. Ephesians 1 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. We already have received every blessing we needed. The Bible is saying, with all spiritual blessings, spiritual. Why spiritual? Because you try to access them through the feelings, you will not. You try to access them through the mind, you will not. Those ones are hid in the spirit man. They are hid in the spirit man. Higher. Then I will conclude that part by reading second Peter chapter 1 verse 3. Kuna kitu nataka kuona then I will summarize. Chandi tu nisome arafu then I will summarize without much reading. Second Peter 1 3. The second epistle of Peter 1 3. Inasema second Peter 1 3. According as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertains to life and God remains through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue. Please, let me, let me explain something. Do you know all those verses in Mesoma? Uh, every Bible student, you should be very conscious of the tense used in the scripture. Because Bible, there are those things that we are told they happened in the past. There are those things that are happening now and there are those things that you happen. All those verses that I've given, Abbasos in Erezea, what has happened into a spirit man, they are all in the past tense. After he has, as according to his divine power, he has given. He has given. Not that he will give or he'll be giving. No. He has already given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Wapendoa, what? Where are these blessings? Na saa zingine ni nakaga na sikia sina power. Saa zingine na sikia watu kama vile watu wengi tunasema, I don't have the grace to pray. I don't have the grace to do this. I don't have the power to resist sin. Let me tell you something. All those blessings, they are kept in your spirit man. They are kept in your spirit man. All those verses, they are in past tense. Ini kitu tayari imefanyika. Let me now go to the issue of prayer. And let me, Nishikanisha Naira Kusema, our God lives in somewhere called the secret. Do you know when Jesus is inviting you and me to go into a closet, wakati wanaiso na to invite, to ingia katika nyuba ya ndani, anatuambia, to end the pale, that we may speak to our Father who is in secret. God has designed us in a very wonderful way. Kusema ni secret, tumesema a secret is a piece of knowledge that is hidden. So, yesu wa kituambia tuwele kwa mungu wa bayo which is in secret, anatuambia kwamba uyule mungu ni mewatuma kwake, mahali ya naka, you do not expect to have every knowledge of him or where he is. Akili yako itadimati kujua mabo mengi sana, kwa mfano watu wengi tunaleta picha ya kama ni mtu, ama ni hile, you know, a being there in heaven and all that our mind tries to bring a certain figure in the mind in a, as a picture. But Jesus is telling us our father is in secret. And what's a secret is a piece of knowledge that is hidden. And it is intended to be hidden. So when you go there in the secret place, I want to tell us today, a great portion of your mind 
is not expected to, uh, to receive every understanding, especially in answer finding. The only portion of you that accesses God in the sacred place, Nire Patiako, which is also sacred. Do you know you have a sacred place? It is the spirit man. Spirit man yako, leo hii ni mekuambia, nikikuliza tu, nikulize. Nikulize, okay. Una, dani yako, siwe unasemaga uko na roho, eh. Si unasemaga uko na, na anointing, eh, niko na ayo. Iko, mefika kiwago gani. Hakuna moja wetu watasema. Kwa nini? Our mind hayuwezi fika to the spirit. So, your spirit is also a secret place. Where knowledge is hidden. The mind, knowledge inakaga kwa mind. Uko haifiki. Kwa hivyo wakati tunaenda kuomba, this is the understanding that God gave to me ili kunipati a lot of freedom that as I go to seek God, I should be silencing my mind. Kwa sababu, our mind is so constructive. Inataka kudiscover so many things. I would want to nikieda kuomba tu pa vitu zifanyike that I may feel with them, with the, with the body or I may feel them with the, you know, akiliandu. But God, Jesus, akitueleze about the Father. He, he, he told us that our Father is in secret. Na mahali secret iko, you do not access there with your mind. Though, to kiomba pia, Paul anasema, I will pray with my mind and also pray with my spirit. But when your mind is praying, remember the Bible says, we also have the mind of Christ. Sasa hii si hile mind inazubuka na mabo zingine ya discovery. Sio hile mind inatakaga kudiscover mambo. Hii ni mind ingine ya spirit mungu wana kupa. Now, our Father is in secret. Na metupatia vitu, they are in the secret place. How do we pray therefore? Let's go down Chidogo Mahali Chiliwachia, Matthew 6. Now I am going to read verse 7 and 8. Then I somehow close the Bible. I do the application. So chapter 6, verse 7. But when you But when you pray, Okay, wacha ni marizia portion ya mwisho ya verse 6. Verse 6 inasema, And your father which is in secret, who sees in secret shall reward you openly. Haba diyo mtegwa inakuanga. Kwa sababu, our mind inatakaga maba zifanyo open. Ili ielewe. I want to understand how. Baba umesema utanirida, I want to understand how. Baba umesema utanirida, I want to understand how. Babu mesema, utanitumia mtu wanibalike, I want to understand who. That is the mind. Lakini pati ya kuexpose hizo vitu ziko kwa secret, imeachiwa moja tu, wanaitwa baba. Our work is only to pray unto the Father, which is in secret. And this we will do, not by, not by um, knowledge, but by faith. Faith is not equal to knowledge. Our faith is not synonymous to knowledge. In actual fact, Zile mabo nyingi umefanyiwa personally as miracles. Your mind haiku jua. But your faith, diyo mungu alikutari, anataka iingie. Sababu, through faith, we access, you access your spirit. You know you have a spirit, how you only. You know you, you are already born again, how is key. You know you already have the anointing, how is key. That is faith. God uh, expect us to access him by faith. Kwa sababu mahali ako, kuna upugufu wa knowledge yetu, kwetu. We do not understand where he is, where he lives. Eti sasa ukienda kumuangbia, sasa uona mfuguli wa gate. Eh, Wale maybe umiai kuona doto kama hiyo ni sawa. Eti nikienda kuoba kila wakati na indaga naona maraika mefugua gate. Sasa nataka kujimuaga bele zake. I don't know, but there is limitation of our knowledge as to where our God is. But the Bible is telling us we can access him. Now let's go to verse 7. But when we pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Hey, Jesus is prohibiting something. Of course, and I refer to the Pharisees, wale walikuwa naomba wakirudia mabo sana. They were bubbling. They want to repeat mambo. Kama vile unasiti unabiwa, kuna watu mwingina nabiwa, uh, ukienda kuoba, sema our father in heaven maratatu, ama marasaba, ama marakusa, kuna mwingina alifanya seventh. 
Unfortunately, alipo maliza seventh, alienda wazimu. So you really don't know which father in the heaven they were praying unto. The Bible is saying, do not use repetitive words or you repetition. Na ni kwa sababu hii tutasoma verse 7. But when you pray, okay, verse 8, sorry. Be not ye therefore like them, for your father knows what things you have need of even before you ask him. Your father knows what you need even before you ask him. Sasa mtu wanaiza sajiuliza, basi kwa nini tuwede kuomba? Why should we pray? Tiba ba najua ni nahitaji hii na hii, kwa nini basi niende niombe? Na vile maubi sa zigine, it proves to be hard. It's a hard task for many of us. But nitakwelezea kwa nini iko hard. Our prayers ought not to be hard. Kwa sababu, ikiwa ni relationship, ama ni fellowship, hakuna wakati unaidaga kwa rafiki yako, yule, yule mnapendana kabisa, alafu unaida kukijiuliza, mtaogea nini. Never, never do you worry, kile mtaida kuogea na your friend, ukienda kumuona. Number two, sioni eti, kwa sababu sasa naenda kutembelea, tell my brother Sam, Ninaenda kumtembelea. So ni miadika list. So tikienda kwanza na bawan saramu. Na batu ni tamuliza how is the family. Na badili ni tataka kujua. Never do we do that. Do you know why we do the list thing? Ni kwa sababu ya ile, ile ya posta. Unakubuka ile ya posta kwenda kukurusha pale ndani. When you go to pray that mentality ya kupereka your needs. That is when we worry so much. Tisemi list kuandika ni baya. But please get me right. Nilisema the priority of prayer is not Telling God our needs. Why? Si tumiona hapo na banane. Kupe God in you what we needed. Na basi kwa listi yako, imagine wewe na umepungukiwa. Si unaeza wacha kitu. Manaki unaeza sema, mungu nataka school fees. Baba nataka school fees. Arabu nataka rent. Na ae mungu wanajua, kwenye school fees watoto wakirudi, wanatahitaji karamu. Na huku wadika. So God in you. So it is not a matter of telling God exactly. Okay, it is not just a matter of telling God what we want. The whole concept of prayer is fellowship. As you go to him, and things flow, ought to flow very automatically. Sasa, watu, tunashanga, kwa nini ni taeda kumwabia nini? There are those things that you talk with your friend. And a friend, let me tell you something. There is no friend that you have in this world. Abaya hamuna secret. All your friends. Mulianzana kujua na anaeza kuwa rafiki mzuri kwa sababu alianza kukufichulia siri zake. That is a friend. And so my issue of contention iko hapa. If you worry so much unto the needs, utazipereka tu dakika moja ama bili. Na diyo ata masaya kuomba, utataim ni saa tisa, saa ngapi, saa frani, saa frani. Iyo diyo masaha mungu wa nasikiaga sana. But let me tell you something. When you refer to God as your father, as your friend, time, time, time will never, never matter. Any time to God is a fellowship time. And we go to God. Paul anasema tushukuru mungu always. How can that be? Let me remind you something. In your spirit, man, ukijua to what God has done. Any time by faith, you read the word of God, na uone kile umepewa na mungu in the spirit, man, na kimedikuwa deposited there, I tell you, you will never lack words to tell God. You will never lack time to explain to God how grateful you are for what he has done. And that's why the large portion of fellowship na mungu ni thanksgiving. Because God, you can die for me, a person like myself, and you marvel at God. I, other people, like we were being told on Sunday, were very conscious about sin. The Bible says that we were cleansed from a guilty conscience. What does that mean? Kama vile ni samehewa thabizote, na hakuna thabi riba kile ni samehewa, zile ni kwa ni mefanya. The same way, the miliangu haifai pia na kukai ikini sumbua kwa sababu zile thambi. And so, this is my point. Wacha ni wauliza nyinyi wazazi. Imagine, mtoto dio alikosea. Na ukingia kwa nyuba jioni, mtoto anakuja. Anajimuwa kachini, anapiga maroti. Anakuabia babayagu, mimi sistahiri. 
mimi hata ukiniona hivyo niko eh kiniona sura yangu eh mimi ninakaa kikunywa ubara as a parent jewelry mtoto wangu nasema unakaa kikunywa ubara hiyo ni kuhisi hiyo ni kunitusi mimi i'm your parent jewelry just you know unamwambia tu ebo inuka kwanza you just look at yourself then look at me mimi sikai kikunywa ubara so it cannot be number two, you are so conscious of sin huyu mtoto ni vile alikosea kuna siku my daughter alikuja akaniambia at na, na mimi of course mimi nimefika jioni na by then alikuwa amekatazwa asiwage anaenda kwa kwa jirani hivi hivi so amekuja akaniambia kuna kitu nataka tuongee twende bedroom tukaenda and now she is like anaanza kuniamuliza ni nini shida aniambia mchana kuna mawazo ilinikujia nikamwambia mawazo gani nilikuwa nimefikiria kwenda kwa wenyewe and i knew nikakumbuka ulikuwa umesema tusiende sasa she is duty of other ile mawazo alikuwa anafikiria and i was like no I, see how kuenda it's fine god does not want us to approach him in that consciousness of sin hiyo ndio inatufungilia ama sasa mtoto pia anapokuja pale chini anaanguka anagaragara pale anakwambia baba na kuomba ukubali tu kunipatia chakula garau kidogo najua mimi si mzuri lakini naomba tu chakula kidogo garau ni nilale vizuri and you like surely my daughter or my my boy do you really understand me i'm your father kama ni makosa tusagalia baadaye una haki ya kucheza una haki ya kula na una haki ya masomo hiyo ni kitu nimefanya ninafanya my daughter kushida niki, nikifanya uh, askie you have those are your rights now the father wants you to know that when you go to him he is seeing you from the spirit man he is not seeing looking, looking at you from the physical or in your mind god is looking at you from the spirit man and how is your spirit man your spirit man is perfect he is created holy he is already sealed god looks unto you that way na usio wape ti shetani labda alikufanya mtoto yake alikufanyia wapi na roho mtakatifu kushapunga he has sealed you nobody can access your spirit man hata tukikosea dhambi ina, inaadhiri our soul of course mtu yote akifanya dhambi itakuadhiri your soul na your body there are those things that we do they trouble our bodies they trouble our minds and actually to, to some extent watu wengine hiyo dhambi inaweza kuua sababu tuseme ni mtu aliyeta akafanya kitu uh, ikafanya agojeke na ni kitu tu dhambi alafu akarudi kwa Mungu pia ka. lakini sasa ile ile ugojo inaweza muua your spirit japo kutafika binguni your body is not immune to those things let me conclude by saying this our father is in secret ijapokuwa sasa hii hauoni mambo zote zikifanyika hoti the way you want do not expect to be feeling unaona vile tunasemanga hasa nataka tuombe tuombe for that minute mtu mwingine anasema mimi si kwenda your prayer si kwa na grace your mind ilijulia wapi uko na grace gani na grace inakuaga in the spirit eti mimi si kusikia nikiwa na anointing ni hiyo pepo vile tulibua tuitoe mimi si kusikia anointing au akili yako ilipima lini ile anointing uko nayo bible ndio inasema uko na anointing do you believe in the bible all your mind so when you go to god in prayer depend on the knowledge that the bible has provided about you and him don't listen so much to your mind don't so much gauge yourself either unajua kuna mtu anasemaga leo nimeomba dakika 10 lakini si kusikia breakthrough hiyo ni feeling hiyo ni feeling kuna wakati tunaomba dio na feelings zinakuja but it is not a must it is not a must nikienda kukutana na my friend shuali do i psych myself up dio aone sasa vile nimekuja kumtembelea nikiwa na psych i just go to my friend my friend I have come samradi tunajua kwake najua heshima zake Evil. so we fellowship god wants us more for fellowship and the things abazo utapokea from god first of all zitakuja in your spirit man sasa unaweza niulizaje vitu zingine tunahitaji they are physical zingine they are mental how do we access them let me tell you something from your spirit man kule kumekona deposit ya hizo vitu you can access those things if you discipline and tell your mind to believe what god says irrespective of the feeling your mind itakubali na ndio tunasema si healing imepewa umepewa healing in your spirit lakini mwili ni mgojwa so kule tunahitaji healing sio spirit tunahitaji kwa mwili eh okay lakini healing iko wapi in the spirit sasa kukuedea ile healing from your spirit person 
Ije ndio uapply kwa mwili hata wale tunaekelea watu mikono. Mikono mikono ni kitu physical. Mbona ni kuwekea mkono upone na hiyo nguvu iko kwenye my spirit ni ku convince uwe na convince my mind. Kuna kitu Mungu amenipa ndani na kinahitajika kwenye mwili. So my mind comply. And wakati akili inakataa ku comply Mungu anashindwa kutusaidia. Do you know there are people who die ama watu kwa kwenye shida kubwa because we don't know how to engage God to allow those things that he already has given us come from the spirit to the body. Watu wengine tunasema mimi yes alinikosea alinikosea. Nasiski siski siski si, sina neema kumsamehea kabisa. Let me tell you something. Ama wengine tunasema leo nasikia sina furaha kabisa. Mungu nipe furaha na you expect your joy toke binguni. Joy haitoki binguni. Biblia inasema uko na tuda la roho. Tuda la roho ni love, peace, joy. Kumbe hizo vitu ziko in your spirit. Lakini feeling yo feeling yo inasikia vibaya juu ya yule mtu. For for you to love me na nimekukosea convince your mind my heart does not hate this person. My spirit man ako na love na yeye. So my mind you have no option. Lazima umsamehe na baba nisaidie to access the joy that is in my spirit because the father has done that the father has done that mungu ametupatia hizo vitu zote ili wakati sasa tunaenda kwake kumuomba iwe fellowship more than even asking because the father already knows what we need even before we ask him our father which is in secret those things are in secret even if you don't understand with your mind convince your mind what the word of god says convince your mind let your feelings your feelings was uh, zisikwambie that god is not near you tunajua tumezoea hivi kanisa kwamba tukiingia tunapokosa kusikia kitu fulani tunasema god is not there till when or since when did our mind since when did our mind ilianza kujua mungu ako uh, kuona mungu unajua tunapo depend na feelings we confuse ourselves and we get confused and we will not access god where he wants we will have a lot of difficulties to access god our god is so accessible our god is so much accessible all you need is to convince your mind that god loves you he's not mad at you number two those things anafanya zinafanyikia in the in the secret place and those things are going to happen to you as the father wants it is the prerogative it is the chance mbaba ndiye anajuaga hizo vitu atazitoa in the open when lastly this ought to be my last idea to share unaona wakati tuna share wakati shetani amekufanya nini shetani amekuambush any time wewe na mimi tuko na spirit body nalia sisi tuko kwenye physical sorry sorry nasema kuhusu physical body na shetani aki akiona i'm not spiritually sensitive and even if i'm spiritually sensitive shetani kwa sababu yeye amezoea sana ulimwepu wa roho lakini sisi tumezoea hizo ulimwepu pili tuko na hii tunaonana face to face physical na tuna ile spirit sasa shetani yako kwenye ile spirit na natupagia mambo nyingi sana in the spirit na huko ndio nachimba mashimo in the spirit let me tell you something na hii ilifanya ni insist kwamba our god hakagi tu in the spirit wal anaka mahali ingine inaitwa secret place now wakati shetani anapaga hizo vitu zote ni nani anaweza kumuona akifanya hizo vitu zote ni Mungu ambaye ako kwenye secret place na sasa ndio ina kabla shetani akuonge ndio unaona mara nyingi Mungu akija kukuokoa swali swali langu ni hili shetani agejua Mungu anakuangalia na anakutazama na atakuja kukuokoa angekupagia hiyo mtego kweli The book of Proverbs says hakuna haja kuwekea ndege mtego akiona. Kama sasa kwa mfano kuna siku nyingine of course mimi tumekuja ku kuna hawa wezi wamekutembea like four times na kuna wamekuja last time wamekuja ni kama last week. And it happens like all those four times mimi ndio huwa nawasikia kwa plot. Na hawaigiagi kwenye nyumba ya mtu huwa ninawasikia ninapiga simu. So this time around wamekuja hata si jarara it was like satano so me ni hata sina habari na naenda tu ku I, i think of going sasa kulala kitu satano ndio ninawasikia wanaogea nje swali langu ni hili 
Shetani dia who facilitate wizi. Hizo ni demons zilikuwa ndani yao zinataka waibu. Haya, kwa nini mapepo hazikujua mimi nitamka? Kwa nini mapepo hazikujua malaika wa Mungu ataniita? Kwa sababu hii, they don't operate in the same realm. Our God operates in the secret or from the secret place. Mapepo zina operate in the spirit realm. Na sisi sasa mpaka tuko kwenye physical. Ndio sababu shetani anakuwekea ana mtego. Mungu anakuokoa kwa sababu the devil does not also design what God is doing because our God is in secret and that is the advantage we have. Otherwise, if God was already living in the spirit realm, shetani angekuaga anaona Mungu kile anapanga na ili alafu aweke mitego. Mimi nitamalizia pale kwa kusema hivi. Even if your mind do not comprehend everything. Even if your feelings has his key kana kwamba Mungu wako even if your feelings has his key anointing even if your feelings has his key faith by the way i have been doing a study na nimekuwa nikifuata sana hawa wazee wa hudhiri ambao wamekaa kwa kwa huduma na wengine ni wale Mungu ametumia mpaka kufufua watu do you know hakuna mtu alitarajia kufufua mtu akiwa sasa anasikia aliamka akasikia nguvu nyingi akaenda kufufua no wote wanasema they were not expecting it lakini guvu ilitumi, ilitum, ilipitia wapi ilikuwa kwenye the spirit ikakuja even to their bodies wengine waliwaekelea wapi mikono wengine waliponya hata wale wanaponya kansa si eti mkono inatetemeka na hii ni kitu vile nilianza kuombea watu i was expecting that to happen i was expecting every time lazima nisikia kitu kwa mkono but that is anti faith if i depend so much with feelings i defeat and i fight my faith na Mungu leo anakualika na ananialika hivi that we may dwell we may exercise our faith so freely sasa tunapojua sio lazima uwe una feel anything ama your mind iwe iki comprehend everything our father is there access your father which is in secret fellowship with him admire what god has done in your spirit person and if you need something to happen in your body all those things zimefichwa kule ndani Ephesians 3:20 Ephesians 3:20 says our God is able to do more than we think. Unasikia Mungu sasa ame defeat the mind more than we desire according to his power which is at work in us in the spirit in the spirit huko hizo mambo zote zipo. So so that now when we access God we access our spirit in a secret place na Mungu tuna access in the secret place. Why do I insist even our spirits ziko kwenye secret place bwana yesu anatuambia kwenye kitabu cha romans i mean cha ephesians na na philippians kwamba sisi mimi na wewe tumeketi na yeye pale juu kwenye mkono wa Mungu wa Baba hatujui ni wapi that's what i call secret place so your spirit is also in the secret place but we access our spirit we access god by faith we apply those things that god has made in our spirits by faith let's have the freedom let's have the peace let's have the easiness to access our father mimi nitafikisha pale na last ni mention to maybe as a by the way niligudua kwamba ndio tuamini kabisa mungu ako kwenye rumi inaitwa secret ananiambia hata nikimtolea sadaka nipeleke in the secret that is in matthew chapter 6 mahali tu tumesoma matthew iko uh, mahali tu tulikuwa tunasoma ya prayer fasting iko pale verse 18 Matthew 6:18 nasema nikifunga baba mwenye siri mwenye anakaa kwenye siri ataniona nikitoa sadaka nipeleke pale so now that you, that maybe leads us to a more comprehensive answer that our father lives in secret hata nikijitolea i should apply faith so much that hii sadaka napeleka ijapokuwa inaguka kwenye hii chondo inaingia kwenye kwenye secret place ya Mungu kuna mtu mwingine ameniambia hivi Ah uh, after kumaliza maombi waliambiwa wa, wa, watoe sadaka ya kusil prayers ati wanafaa kufanya nini wanafaa kutoa sadaka ya kusil prayers ndio isiibiwe na pia mhubiri mwingine nikasikia anasema maombi inafaa kufunikwa na damu ya Kristo ili shetani asi access na swali langu ni hili Yesu ametualika tukienda kuomba tusiende in the spirit world to end in the secret yani our mind is that god is somewhere hakuna mwingine anaweza fika pale and when we access our father na tumempatia maombi yetu 
Sio lilagu ni hili. Shetani tagu lini. Akaenda kunyang'anya Mungu maombi kwenye mkono wake. Et inabidi tutoe sadaka ya kusiru those prayers. And some of these things surely. Surely. Even if tunafunzwa I don't know. Let me watch and analyze it pale. But our prayers to Kiziomba, we make prayers to God. We make prayers to God. Solomon the Bible says that Solomon was cutting and dedicated the temple. He prayed to God. Now, there is something about the Pharisees who walikuwa nafanya. When they were praying, they were doing those prayers ili waonekane. Hata kuna scripture nimeona hapa that they were doing everything so that they may be seen. It is 23 Matthew 23 verse 5. Everything they were doing, they were doing it to be seen. Hapo ndio shida iko because these people they never recognize the God who lives in secret. In secret. They were doing everything to be seen. Maombi yetu tukiomba, mimi nikipewa niombeshe. Alafu niombe maombi. Nikiwa kuna information nataka moja wetu kwenye hiyo room asikie ama apate hiyo message. I am a hypocrite. If I make any prayer in the congregation, nikiwa nina target any one of us in the congregation apart from God, I enter into the category of a hypocrite. Iwe ni kizungu nataka kutumia kizuri misamiati ya Bible theology, theological jargons if my aim number one, even if nataka ifikie Mungu ndio lakini pia ningependa nyinyi mko kule kama sasa tukiobea niambiwe sasa uh, Jordan ni wakati wa kuombea wana youth wewe utuobeshe obi la wana youth sasa nianze kuomba kwa sababu maybe kuna wana youth katikati yetu ninataka kupatia onyo so na sina chance manake mimi sio mhubiri so nikioba ninasema baba Mungu wa mbinguni wasaidie hawa wadogo hawajijui wanaona tu baba wanaona wako na hekima but father you know they don't have that wisdom so na katika kusema hivyo ninataka wasikie hawanaga hiyo hekima wanafikiria wako nayo if i aim to any other person in my prayers other than god i am a hypocrite i should never inform a person in the congregation anything in my prayer other than god we make prayers to god hapo ndio sasa hatutaogopa tena itaibiwa lakini nikioba nikuelekeze wewe hiyo inaweza ibiwa lakini sijui na sijaiona hiyo nguvu shetani ametoa wapi nimepatia Mungu prayers alafu the demons na access naambiwa ye endea hiyo ameobea hiyo eh, anointing hiyo endea ameah i really don't understand that theology how can prayers be stolen ndio mpaka tunazisiru na na na, na, na sadaka anyway sadaka zetu pia kwani zilienda wapi et mpaka tunaziobea hiyo shetani ya success si tunaz to kizi drop according to the scriptures we should take them to god which is in secret which is in secret god bless you acheni tumalizie hapo nitani niombe allow me to pray then we, we are done well, i had over to the pastor we thank you father which is in secret mm. father by faith we access you and we praise you for what you've done to us you have loaded us with great blessings and it's only by the work of the holy spirit through wisdom on how to access and enjoy those things that you have given us in the spirit. We thank you so much as you give us peace and that confidence to approach you because of the work of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. In Jesus name we pray.